Tracy G. What's up, Tracy G? Shout Town's finest. Tracy said Aaron did not keep the trolls off his back. Mm-mm. Tom Brady still the goat. Heck of a game, Chiefs. Heck of a game, um, Chiefs and 49ers in the Super Bowl. Mm. I was gonna get to that as far as speaking of that 49ers Green Bay game. My first question for y'all was: Man. Is Aaron Rodgers overrated? No, man. Ooh. We we know how Q What's feels. That Q? <laughs> hey, I told y'all hey, for months. For months, I told Q, y'all. Q, are you months. ready? Are are you ready to change your stance on Shanahan though? On Kyle Shanahan, no, because it's going up against Rodgers. Anybody could have won that game if Rodgers in the playoffs. Overrated? No, not that guy. In terms of Brady, no, he's not that guy. He's definitely one of the better QBs we've ever seen. He's definitely going to be in the top five list, but he's not that guy. He's not Montana. He's not Brady. And people just need to understand that's what I've been saying for years. He's been getting the pass. This nigga ain't done shit since Carter Four was out, and we just got to be re- like be real about it, bro. Like, we got to be real about it. Aaron Rodgers could have played any QB in this game and the Green Bay Packers were going to lose because I don't know if Aaron Rodgers really likes football like that. I don't know if he loves the game like that. I think he's just so talented that it just kind of comes natural to him. I think he has a work ethic to do because he's good at it. But I don't know if Aaron Rodgers has that burning passion that Tom Brady does. When I see Tom Brady, and I'm not getting into, into that game, but when I see Brady do what he did coming up short still, I saw the passion. I saw the fight. I saw the want. Where Aaron Rodgers, I just it, to me, it just seems like he needs in the playoffs for some reason. He needs like everybody around him to either lift him up or be on the same like level that they were in the regular season. And that's not what great QBs do. You know what I mean? Regular guys around you, they 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 they're gonna be probably lesser than what they were. But if you are the greatest QB that we ever seen in terms of talent. You got to lift those guys up. Obviously, Devontae going to do what he do. Aaron Jones going to do what they do. But those regular guys, can you get that greatness out of them? You know what I mean? Like Brady throwing to Tyler Johnson, making sure that he steps up. Brady throwing to, what's his name? The little white dude who's going to be his new Scotty. weapon. Well, well, you know what I mean? Scotty Miller. He's doing what he has to do. Even if it's just one or two plays. Aaron Rodgers, you have to give me 16 points. I don't care how you get it. You got to give me 16 points. The fact that you lose by three at home. Again, and this is like the third season in in a row, man. Kyle Shanahan has your number, but this ain't on no Shanahan genius. That defense is incredible. I think D'Amico Ryans deserves to be in so many uh, head coaching interviews right now because he's coaching this defense up to contain Aaron Rodgers. And that's already something that should be put in the line for a coaching job. So no, Aaron Rodgers is not overrated, but he's not that guy. He's that how, guy, how, but he's how much, that uh, One follow-up question, and this can go to all y'all too. How much blame do you put Rodgers on his loss? 50%. 50. All right. What's up, Devo? I was going to say, uh, Q, I was going to break down a couple of things that you said. Uh, D'Amico Ryans, it's crazy. I remember when he was drafted by the damn Houston Texans to play middle yeah. linebacker. So mm-hmm. I, that's how I know I'm getting old. This motherfucking damn defensive coordinator now. But um, when you look at business trends, um, you follow the trend, and when you look at the NFL and where they're going in terms of head coaching, all the, all four head coaches right now in, in the final four, what are they? Offensive coaches. Mm-hmm. Defensive coaches is going to be tough for them unless you have something already proven a la Brian Flores or you already have, you know, the, the star OC or you know who you want to get and your defense is lacking, then that's the, so defensive coaches to me, they're just not going to get the same amount of opportunities anymore, especially when you see young quarterbacks coming into the league. You need a guy that can mentor them and develop them. So as much as D'Amico Ryans has earned it, it's just the timing I don't think is going to be good. Um, In terms of Aaron Rodgers, to me, it's not because of him that they lost that game. When I watched that, it was a back and forth game and anybody could have won. It literally came down to special teams. Mm -hmm. They blocked that punt Mm -hmm. and scored seven points and then they blocked a field goal off after a big ass play. Mm -hmm. That field goal would have won them the game if if that would have never got blocked. Mm-hmm. It wasn't 100% on Aaron Rodgers, but I know where Q is coming from. 
Mm-hmm. You're at home, you're in Lambeau Field, and especially when you look at the numbers, when it's cold as fuck out there, Aaron Rodgers has great games. He's used to it. So seeing what we saw out of Aaron Rodgers wasn't the norm in those conditions. What's your percentage? 33.3. He's a third of the reason why that why that didn't go What's down. What's the other two? The other two special teams. Um, and then the other one is people just stepping up. Mercedes Lewis, he's he's a, he's a he's a vet in the game. You can't fumble like that. You know what I'm saying? You can't drop passes like that. Every possession in the NFL, especially in the playoffs, is critical. You can't have those things happen. And the other, it's the special teams, bro. Like the special teams lost that game. They gave up ten points. Seth Fran couldn't do shit. And what I mean is, you know, they blocked the three from, you know, so I'm adding it to the yeah. seven that they scored. Yeah. It's te- that 10-point that swing is the difference in the game. What about you, Cam? <sighs> I feel like you was listening to people, but you wasn't listening to his hair Now, he, 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 was, he was saying what he needed to say in his head. I saw him. <laughs> saw. Um, so I did watch this, this whole game. Um, I think I'm with Q, man. Um, fifty percent. I may be a little bit higher, mm. and the reason why I say that is that um, they came out hot. They did march down the field, mm-hmm. and Mercedes fumbled that ball, and then it was a wrap. San Francisco 49ers had confidence, um, et cetera, et cetera. Aaron made a huge play at the end of the game. Um, maybe this is coach, but Aaron Jones, you got to know to get out of bounds. You got mm-hmm. one time. Out. Why are you running back inside trying mm-hmm. to stiff arm somebody? Yeah. Made absolutely no sense. Mm-hmm. Cost them a timeout. Run out of bounds. You're not going to score. Or so play smarter. And I don't know why he did that, but he's smarter than that. Field goal got blocked. So I'm with you on the special teams. It was horrendous. But when you're when you're Aaron Rodgers, mm-hmm. you got to overcome that. Mm-hmm. Then you guys talk about and 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 you know gush yeah. over what he did when he didn't have his guys. Mm-hmm. Man, no receivers. And he Cardinals. won this game. Blah, 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 blah. All this stuff. Mm-hmm. When you're at home in that temperature and you got all the – now you got your guys. You got to move. And they were moving the ball, but you got to execute. Mm-hmm. And there was one – the reason why I'm, I'm 50-50 and maybe higher is there was one put-away drive that they had to settle for three points. And he didn't get it. Yep, that last one. That that last that, possession when they were in the red zone. That's the one you got to put the nail in the coffin, because you know these motherfuckers can't do shit on offense. Mm-hmm. You got to have that killer instinct. I'm not giving you guys a chance. I know because you you already know the special teams is fucked up. Mm-hmm. You didn't know they're gonna block a punt and everybody gonna stand around and just watch the shit just bounce. But you gotta put them away. Right. And um, and that and and that's it, man. Like you're at home, probably gonna be MVP again. But you had shot. You had ample enough opportunities to bury them. Yep. And he did not. You Come know, on. another thing, too, Ken, um, that last drive that they had on, I want to say it was the fourth down when he threw it in the double team to Devontae. He had MVS wide open. And it's one of those things where, in my opinion, Aaron Rodgers is at his best when he has six, seven different receivers catching the ball. Mm-hmm. But in this one, you saw where he lost the trust and confidence in everybody else. Where out of, I want to say he had like 30 something attempts, 21 targets was either to Devontae or, or to Aaron, Aaron Jones. Jones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. That's and, a, and that's a Yeah, I mean, you got 12 attempts by Aaron Jones running the ball. In Frigid Weather, you probably got to run it more than that. Mm-hmm. Uh, the rookie, AJ Dill- Corey, Corey Dillon, Dillon got a couple had of, he seven, had broken, and then he got hurt, but I that's think he had seven too many. You know, you um, so? really? he's, he's, he's really their, the, their running back at this point. Aaron, Aaron Jones, Jones is your guy. That's what I was. I've, Aaron I've been Jones is that. your fucking guy, bro. I've been hearing that, but fuck AJ Dillon in the playoffs. I, yeah, I trust Aaron so, Jones way more. I, so I'm like, my thing is, I, I, the special teams lost that game. Mm-hmm. Lafleur's coaching at times lost that game. Mercedes Lewis ill time fumble lost that game. Aaron Rodgers didn't win the motherfucking one hundred. I, I, I agree that's with the that. Problem. I agree that's, with that. Show me your percentage. Show, give me your that was, percentage. Ken Ken took the words I'm out of my mouth. Percentage though. That's why I 50. fifty. It's, it's fifty for that reason. Mm. Aaron Jones. I expect more from Aaron Jones. I, I mean, uh, Aaron Rogers. Rodgers. I'm sorry. I expect Aaron Rodgers to win a game like that. And like we saw in the Tampa Bay game last year, it's the same thing. We expect him to put the team on his back and say we're gonna get this one. If anybody, if I, if, if you're betting on quarterbacks, that's the guy you should be able to bet on. He's top three. 
right? Yeah. Like Mahomes, Brady, Rogers. It's, yeah. it's supposed to be the yeah. trifecta. Them, them, them three, we don't worry about no. in the end of games. Like we, we don't. If they worry. got the ball, and mm-hmm. all you need is three to win, right? Book it. And you saw it, the other two did it. Mm-hmm. The other two did it. You well, know what I'm saying? not Brady. Well, well, well he, no, he, put he him did in it. That's what I'm saying. He, he put him in he, position. He yeah. did what he was supposed yeah. to do. Yeah, exactly. 100%. Yeah. So in saying that, I expect the same thing from 100%. From Man, for me, I've been going back and forth on between 33% and 50 or 60%. And I'm stuck between what FIFO said and Ken said. But at the end of the day, I can't tout this nigga as Aaron Bleep, Bleep and Rodgers. And he can't get you over 10 points in the divisional game. Correct. At home, if he's supposed to be as comfortable mm-hmm. as people say he is on in the cold, you would ha- you would expect a name like Aaron Rodgers to get you more than ten points, and mm-hmm. I think that's the that's the end of the case for there. I at first people I was with you. The special teams clearly lost that game. Man. Mercedes Lewis fumble at a it came at the worst time because they were driving. Those are all points, but then at the same time, it's like if you're in red zone, you got to get tubs. That's the same issue that I have with Joe Burrow. We'll get to it. Um, as far as how he stares down Chase a lot, and then also we settle for field goals a lot. Like these are the times where you gotta punch it in somehow, some way, if you wanna be those that elk of quarterback. But obviously I'm giving Burrow passes yeah, yeah, yeah. first full season. <laughs> like mm-hmm. I'm not even tripping on him. But with Rodgers, it's like this is yeah. this is this is third NFC championship. He don't game? get a pass. No. Out of, out of anybody. Like, multiple time MVP. Multiple yeah, you, time MVP. Like it's like expectations. And bro. you are mm-hmm. balling in the regular season yep. season. And it mm-hmm. doesn't really even translate damn near not at all. Right. And you're playing against Jimmy G. Yeah. I, you should be able to beat Jimmy G. If no and, and that's the that's the that's sixty <laughs> now. It's sixty percent. <laughs> six, Jimmy fucking G. <laughs> this bro, when I Two talk about against when, Aaron Rodgers. When I talk about white man luck. Mm. He he took over Tom Brady's spot. Yeah, oh, he has yeah. taken over Tom Brady's spot. Yeah, and maybe that's only because Tom Brady lost to a white man. Maybe that's what gets <laughs> out. Hey. But but you know, like talking about Jimmy G too. Like the 49ers squandered a lot of opportunities themselves. Um, that one missed by George Kittle early in the game for that for drop, a big yeah. third down. It was cold, man. It was cold. It was, it was, it was freezing. freezing. Used to it yet? <laughs> nah, they, they from San Fran. You know, yeah. it's a little different. It was freezing. But but like. <laughs> They had a lot of miscues in that game too. Jim- like they almost didn't want to win. Jimmy mm-hmm. wanted to lose. He wanted to go home. <laughs> he was ready. He's like, all right, I'm gonna give y'all pick six. Damn, nigga, you caught it. All right, I'm gonna give y'all pick six. Damn, you dropped it. <laughs> he wanted them to lose yeah. that game. And then, and, and what's the and what's the worst part of it? He made the throws at the end of the game. I need yep. we need the first down, Jimmy. Gotcha. Kyle calls mm-hmm. some great plays. We need we need we need another first yeah. down. Gotcha. And I'm and I'm the Packers. I'm like, why are they letting Kittle in the get that in, in, inside? He got yeah, the inside right, 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 twice. Right. But 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 number one, leverage. And again, this is why I love Kyle Shanahan. He'll move guys around so that way he can create the matchups and where he wants them to be. Mm-hmm. Right. So like, if I have an in breaking route, I'm gonna move him so that way the defender has to play him on the outside, and I know he's gonna go inside. You know what I'm saying? But it so, happened like twice on that drive with bro. no inside. Kyle protect. Shanahan. Yeah. yeah. Kyle Shanahan. Yeah. You know, I, I know how Q feels about him, but bro, what's what's Mal, is Matt LaFleur offense or defensive coordinator? Uh, offense. offense, offense. He's an offensive guy. Hmm. That's just the craziest thing. It, it, what else is crazy is how they use Debo. Like, oh, what? Hey, like who, hey, uh, who, hold on. Let's talk about some Debo. Who in the world thought Debo was gonna be doing this? this Nobody. Year? Nobody at the beginning of the year. My, my homeboy got had Debo in fantasy last year, and he was hyping up Debo. I'm like, Debo ain't shit. This he got him. He got him again this year. I was like, bro, you you called it early. Yeah. I did but, not expect Debo to be like this. I, I, I always thought Debo had it in him, but he was injury prone, so he was mm-hmm. always going to get hurt. That mm-hmm. was my whole thing with him. Debo did it at South Carolina. He did the same thing in college. Mm-hmm. He was, I, I, I went. That was one time. But <laughs> I'm just saying he was electrifying. Bro, we, get, we get once a show. You know, he was man. electrifying, but he got he would get hurt a lot. So mm-hmm. that's what I figured would be his problem. Mm-hmm. But we stay healthy this year. They just let him get that last first down. Poor they, they, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It was what third and seven, hey, and he got ten. Yes, but but you know what though. I have not, and I've watched a lot of football in my life. I have not seen somebody physical like that. What about right? Cordell Patterson this season? Same thing. Yeah, but 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 he don't he he don't run like Debo. He don't have to pop Debo hat like Debo could be a running back, bro. <laughs> Debo could be a he running play, back. He played running back. Oh, I know, okay. but 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 I'm just saying. And, and, and he the, played running. Back. Yes, he, you can he see he it. Plays running back, and he. He, what did he average about six point six yards a carry or something like that? Something, something crazy. crazy. Something it was, crazy. It was crazy. Yo, that dude 
I'm not going to lie. One one of the best plays that I didn't seen in a very long time, it reminded me back when I was on the field. And I'm like, yep, that's why I don't play football no more. When Debo broke, mm. and then that linebacker, number mm. 51, caught him. Boom! And knocked the win out of him. I said, look. And when Debo had to, like, stumble, mm. and he was like, hey, <laughs> leave me the fuck alone. I just need to catch my breath. That's football. <laughs> yeah. That was football right there. That was one of my favorite plays of the weekend.